online class. Today we are going to solve the problem in exercise 4.1. I hope you have sufficient knowledge in basics, which means uh, similar diagram concepts. Now we are going to solve the problem. Look at the diagram. Here there are two triangles. They be Q, Q P R and Q S R. Two triangles. Q P R and Q S R. The first one. Q P R. And triangle Q S R. Both have same base that is Q R. Both triangle have same base that is Q R as well as same side. This Q R is one of the side of the triangle Q P R as well as another triangle Q S R. I hope you understand this. Here angle P and angle S R right triangles. Angle P and angle S R right triangles. So now we are going to show PP into PR equal to ST into DQ. What is this T? Actually, this T is point of intersection of QS and PR. This T is the point of intersection of QS and PR. Okay. Now we are going to show PP into PR equal to ST into DQ. Let's move on to the problem. Actually, here right angle is given. So better we can use uh, Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So it is a key to find the answer or to prove the answer. So which concept we can apply here? You may have doubt. Right angle is given. Better you can make uh, Pythagoras theorem. So in the right triangle QPR. In right triangle QPR. We know that angle P is 90 degree. So the side which is opposite to 90 degree is called the hypotenuse. What is Pythagoras theorem? Pythagoras says that the square of the hypotenuse, square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of other two sides. If it is 90 degree, it is a longest side that means hypotenuse. So this Q R square, hypotenuse square, this is equal to sum of QP square and PR square. QP square plus QR square. Sorry, PR square. Sum of these. Okay. Next term, in the right triangle, you take this as 1. So, second right triangle, QPT. Is that QPT? Here this is 90 degree, so this is the hypotenuse, this is the longest side. So QP square is equal to QP square, QP square plus PP square. Okay, so what is QP square? Here QP square is equal to, if you take this left hand side, QP square minus PP. This is Q. Here also, what is QP square? QP square is equal to, you can take this left hand side. So QP square is equal to QR square minus PR square. Better, you can take this as equation number 1. So, result from 1 and 2, 1 QP square, 2 is also QP square. Left hand side is R. Equal. So, right hand side must be equal. So, equating equating 1 and 2. What do we get? What is 1 and QP square equal to QR square minus PR square. Here, QP square minus PP square. So, Q R square minus P R square is equal to QP square minus p p square ok from here p r what is p r then p r is equal to p p plus p r p r is equal to p p plus p r similarly q s is equal to q t plus p s now i am going to 
going to take this result to PR instead of PR, I am going to assign PT plus PR. So Q R square minus instead of PR square PT plus PR the whole square. PT plus PR the whole square is equal to Q T square minus P T square. So Q R square minus Actually, it is in the form of a plus b whole square. A plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. 2 into pt into pr. Is equal to 
R square minus S T square. Okay. Here also expansion of A plus B whole square. You know that Q R square minus of A plus B whole square is A square plus B square plus two A T two Q T into T S is equal to this right hand side here T R square minus S T square. If you multiply by minus. All the terms becomes minus. Here, s t square and d s square. This is minus s t square. If you multiply by minus, it is also minus. So it becomes cancel. So q r square minus q t square minus instead of t s, I am going to write s t square minus two q t into t s is equal to. T R square minus S T square. This S T square is S T square will be cancelled. So what do we have? Q R square is equal to this term and this term. This minus term becomes plus. So T R square already in right hand side. It becomes plus Q T square. It is also plus two Q T into T S. This is equation number. Four, five, six. Now I am going to equate this three and six. So I can write here. Thank you.